welcome dear students in this video i am going to explain about physical quantities and measurement in this first i will explain about density so what is density density is the mass per unit volume we can write it as density is equals to mass by volume or we can denote density as d equals to mass m and volume by v so density is equals to mass by volume this is the this is the mathematical form of density now let us see the si unit and cgs unit of density first si unit of density as we have seen density mass by volume so mass is measured in kilogram and volume is measured in meter cube so the si unit of density is kg per meter cube kg per meter cube if we will talk about a cgs unit so cgs unit of density is equals to again in cgs system mass is measured in gram and volume is measured in centimeter cube so we can write gram per centimeter cube is the cgs unit of density now let us see the relationship between si and cgs unit of density 1 gram 1 gram per centimeter cube is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube this is the relationship between cgs and si unit of density the density of a pure substance varies little from sample to sample due to two factors the first one is temperature and second one is the pressure let us see how as the temperature increases the substances expands as the substance will expands its volume will increase and density will decrease and as the pressure the second factor pressure as the pressure increases it also compresses the substances like gases gases can be easily compressed by increasing the pressure so as it will be compressed its volume will decrease and density will change so the two factor the first one is temperature and second one is pressure are the two factors that means temperature and pressure are the two factors to be specified to measure the density of a substance the density of water is maximum at a temperature 3.98 degree celsius or at 4 degree celsius at 4 degree celsius the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 1000 kg per meter cube if the water is cooled from the temperature 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius it expands it shows an unusual behavior so it expands and as it will expand its density will decrease so density of water is maximum at 3.98 degree celsius now let us see the determination of density of an irregular solid and determination of density of a liquid so first let us let us see the determination of density of an irregular solid to find the density as we know density is equals to mass by volume so if we have a irregular body 
and we have to find the density of this body so we must have to first find its mass and then volume and then after dividing the mass and volume we will get the density of this body so how we will calculate the mass first we will determine the mass of irregular solid with the help of a suitable balance such as physical balance so from physical balance we will calculate the mass of the irregular solid body and to find the volume as it is irregular so we cannot find its volume by using any formula mathematical formula so what we will do we will take a measuring cylinder we will take a measuring cylinder in which uh, the marking is written on its side like uh, 10 ml 20 ml 30 ml 40 ml and so on so maybe marking is written on this side so first what we will do we will tie that irregular shaped body with a thread and dip first what we will do we will fill this container with water up till a certain level suppose i filled it till 20 ml then after what we will do we will tie this irregular solid body and we will immerse that body in this water as this body will immerse into this water so the level of water will increase so level of water will increase let it increases from 20 to 30 as i said initially we have taken the water till 20 ml and when we immerse this solid into the water the level of water increases from 20 to 30 so final volume is 30 ml and initial volume was 20 ml if we will subtract this two then we will get the volume of this irregular solid so we can find the volume of irregular solid by finding the difference of volume of liquid or water in the measuring cylinder so mass we found from physical balance and uh, volume we can find from the measuring cylinder the difference of the level of water we will find the volume and after finding mass and volume we can find the density by dividing these two so this is the way how we can determine the density of an irregular solid body now let us see how we can determine the density of a liquid again to find the density of a liquid we have to find mass of the given liquid and volume of the given liquid so how we can find the mass as liquid we are not able to keep directly on the physical balance so what we will do we will first take the physical balance or electronic balance to measure the mass so suppose we have taken an electronic balance and a container the liquid whose density we have to find we will keep that liquid apart first so first we will take an empty container and measure the mass of that empty container suppose the mass of empty container is 50 g now what we will do this is the mass of an empty container now what we will do we will uh, pour the given liquid whose density we have to find in this container suppose i pour that liquid so as i will pour that liquid and with that liquid again we will measure the mass of that uh, container with liquid let its mass be 100 g so the difference of these two final mass that means mass along with mass of the container along with the liquid minus 
mass of the empty container we will get the mass of the liquid whose density we have to find so in this way first we will find the mass of the liquid and volume of the liquid we can determine by the measuring cylinder as measuring cylinder as we have seen the measuring cylinder we will pour that liquid in the measuring cylinder and we can see its volume so after finding mass and volume we can determine the density of the liquid so these are the two ways to find the density of the irregular solid and uh, density of a liquid now students we will see few more topics related to this density in that the first term is bowen force so what is a bowen force it is also known as a thrust it is the upward force exerted on a body by the fluid in which it is submerged uh, it is an upward force means uh, and i use a word that is fluid fluid means anything that can flow like gases and uh, liquids are known as the fluids so if a body is immersed submerged in the water a force which is pushing it in the upward direction that force is known as the bowen force this bowen force can be determined by the archimedes principle so archimedes principle gives the magnitude of bowen force or the up thrust let us see what the archimedes principle according to archimedes principle any body partly or wholly immersed in a fluid experiences an upward force called up thrust which is equal to the magnitude of the weight of the liquid displaced by the body so this is the statement of archimedes principle next on this basis or on the basis of density we can know which body will float or which body will sink in liquid so next point is floating and sinking for a body to float in a fluid the density of the floating object should be less than or equal to the density of fluid in which it is to be float if its density if the density of the body will be more than the density of the fluid it will sink like a cork a cork density is less than water so it floats on the surface of water and a iron nail whose density is more than the density of water so it sink in the uh, water now one more point related to that that is the plimpsham line or international load line what is it it is a reference line which is white in color located on a ship's hull that indicates the maximum depth to which the vessel may be safely immersed when loaded with cargo so this is just a safety line which indicates the ships uh, for a safe flotation so this is all about uh, density and uh, its related terms thank you students thank you for watching